Hello everyone. Welcome to UpTalk. Before starting the video let's know about UpTalk. UpTalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities, who could take on universal business platforms. Now let's begin the video Adobe Analytics interview question and answers. Question 1. What is meant by Adobe Analytics? Adobe Analytics plays a vital role in every organization as it offers businesses a new way of analyzing data collected. It provides organizations with existing solutions to extend the growth and manage them in the right direction to derive success and meet conversion objectives. All the data extracted from marketing sources will be used in reports and charts, giving a detailed look. Question 2. Is there a similarity between Adobe Analytics and Omniture? Adobe developed a company known as Omniture and set up an Omni Site Catalyst. The products are renamed Adobe Site Catalyst. Therefore, Adobe Catalyst has recently been renamed Adobe Analytics. Question 3. What is meant by Web Analytics slash Web Analytics 101? By using Web Analytics, organizations can derive and examine data from the websites to improve their production and sales procedures. Usually, this is graphically displayed in a chart or in detailed reports that have to be related. Question 4. In what way does Adobe Analytics collect the day? Every Adobe track page consists of Adobe Verification JavaScript code, the account executive delivers this. The data collection process will be fast, not affecting page load time. The composed data consists of the page view created by clicking the back buttons or reloading your browser. JavaScript code is performed even if the page is recovered from the cache. Question 5. Where can we store Adobe Analytics data? Data collection analysis and data processing storage centers for examination of analytics. The data feed may be configured to feed to a cluster of data workbench. Straight from the analysis server, a secure FTP transfer sends the source data to the data workbench. Question 6. How can Adobe Analytics be set up? Select Adobe Experience Manager, Tools, a Development, a Cloud Services in the upper left corner of the screen. The Adobe Analytics icon may be found. To add a new configuration, select View Configuration, then click Plus. The first time you use the app, click the Configure button immediately. Question 7. What do you mean by Site Catalyst? Team members and workers may use Site Catalyst to boost client conversion rates. To get the best results, you may alter the parameters. Question 8. What is the purpose of Site Catalyst? In the digital marketing world, Adobe's digital marketing suite includes Site Catalyst, a product initially developed by Omniture. Organizations use the Site Catalyst to help online teams and executives become oriented, frequently to boost conversion rates. Question 9. How is a dashboard created in Adobe Analytics? Once you've logged into Adobe Analytics, go to See All Reports, Dashboards, and Add Dashboard under Add Dashboard to establish the report suite you wish to work with. Question 10. What are the firms that use Adobe Analytics? More than a million individuals across the globe use Adobe Analytics. A vast number of businesses are using Adobe Analytics. As well as in the United States and the automobile industry. Some of the lists of the company's ancestry, Argos, Airbus, BCU, Airgas, etc. Question 11. How is a custom report created in Adobe Analytics? Administrators may only customize reports. Anytime you attempt to build a custom report, it is automatically placed to the main report menu alongside the information you currently have open in your browser window. The following are the steps used for creating a custom report. Track the report and make the necessary adjustments. Customize your report by selecting Details. Click Save after giving the document a name. Do not use the same report title as before. Question 12. How to show a percentage as a graph? 
Here's how to make a percentage of a table in a report appear as a graph, step by step. Additionally, dashboard reports may provide this visualization as well. Run a report that allows percentages to be entered using the page reports. To see the graph, click on the percentage button. Question 13. What is the best technique to deduplicate site catalyst measurements using a processor? To deduplicate the site catalyst, metric serialization is only the best way. Question 14. What is the number of report suites that a company can use? There are no minimum and maximum limits. Question 15. How can a dashboard be shared? For sharing a dashboard, you need to Start the dashboard that you want to share. Click the Share option and then Share Objects. Question 16. State the conversion metrics in Adobe Analytics. Report Builder is a platform for creating reports, allowing businesses to alter or filter data to improve marketing and advertising strategies. Question 17. How can you compare data ranges? Using the Compare Dates features in the Calendar module, we can compare data ranges. Question 18. Will Adobe Analytics attach to the data warehouse? They aggregate all the data from internal and external storage, put it in one place for easy access, and then use charts and reports to evaluate and interpret it. Adobe Analytics is wholly linked with Teradata and Hadoop. Question 19. What is the primary function of EVAR? EVAR is a tool for monitoring data dimensions for conversion occurrences. Question 20. What is the maximum 6 of the S-channel variable? S-channel must not exceed 100 bytes. Question 21. When do you use S-account? Use S-account when you organize a report suite. Question 22. What is multi-suite tagging? Multi-suite tagging refers, to put it another way, to let the same trace data be delivered to different reporting suites. Question 23. Which conversion variable's assignment settings are allowable? A conversion variable cannot be assigned if it is decaying. Question 24. What is pathing? Pathing refers to the user's journey through the website. One of the most effective analytics elements is paths after visiting page A and subsequently page B. The incredible insights it provides are critical for businesses attempting to decipher visitor traffic patterns, for example, page C. You can supply pathways at the page level in ordinary analysis. The path's primary purpose is to display the order in which the user views the pages throughout a visit. This data appears in various reports that format the information differently depending on what you're looking for. Question 25. Differentiate product syntax and conversion. The S products determines the product syntax, not the conversion syntax. Question 26. What kind of site catalyst variables slash reports should I use when looking at path behavior? This is a report that has a lot of potentials. To see how viewers interact with pages, use S props to conduct actions on traffic factors. Question 27. What is a page variable, and what does it do? This valuable program captures the URL leading to 404 error pages. Question 28. Where is the Adobe Analytics server? One of the formats contains the value of the analysis tracking server. The analysis trace server may be found in the debugger's site catalyst image area. For non-RDC implementations and C name implementations, this field is termed a first-party cookie or a third-party cookie. Question 29. What do you understand by analytic C name? A C name record in DNS transfers a domain name, also known as an alias, to another domain name, also known as a redirect, the specification name. Question 30. What's the location of Adobe Analytics tracking server? The analysis trace server is found in the debugger's site catalyst image section. 
Depending on the implementation, this field is referred to as a first-party cookie or a third-party cookie. The worth of the tracking analysis server is in one of the following formats, for C name implementations and non-RDC implementations. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe to Uptalk channel. Thank you for watching.